So I'm now going to show you how to find the cephalic vein on a dog or a cat. This is Kelty, she'll be helping me. So first you're going to say that you are going for the cephalic vein, and then you are going to put the animal in sternal recumbencies. So now I'm going to demonstrate sternal recumbency. So sternal is where the sternum or breastbone of the animal is touching the table. So something like this. And dogs' legs don't actually spread like this if everything's working right. So usually they have their legs tucked to one side and their sternum is touching the table. You're going to stand on the side opposite of the leg that you're putting the catheter in. So in this case, the veterinarian would be going for her right leg. So I'm on her left side. So then you're going to grab the animal close to yourself and point the mouth away from you. So if she did bite, it's not straight at my face. You're going to reach over the animal as I am, put your hand on the elbow, putting your thumb on the medial, that's the inside of the leg. You're going to push down a little bit and then roll your hand outwards. So your thumb is now on the front or cranial aspect of the leg. And when you're pushing down now to occlude the vessel, you can see her cephalic vein starts to pop up right there. And then the veterinarian who would be on the other side needs to do the injection from there.